Hi friends, in this video I am going to discuss electronic devices and circuits. Electronic devices and circuits. Operational amplifier. Operational amplifier that is nothing but op amp. That is nothing but op amp. This op amp is a high gain direct coupled amplifier. An op amp is a high gain direct coupled amplifier. It has two input terminals that are there are inverting input this first one is inverting input and the non invert and next one non inverting input first one is inverting input and second one is non inverting <coughs> input this is the symbol of op amp this is the symbol of op amp next coming to the characteristics of ideal op amp very very important characteristics of ideal op amp first two characteristic first one it has infinite gain ideal uh, characteristics of ideal ideal op amp first one is infinite gain it has infinite gain and input resistance is infinite that is input resistance or impedance is infinite and output resistance must be zero and output resistance is zero and uh, this op amp is a must be a ideal voltage amplifier it is a ideal voltage amplifier so it is called a voltage dependent voltage source voltage dependent voltage source and the bandwidth of this ideal op amp is infinite very very important bandwidth of this ideal uh, op amp is infinite and it has zero offset and it has zero offset and cmrr common mode rejection ratio common mode rejection ratio is infinite and this cmrr equal to mod adm by acm mod adm by acm it is the cmrr is nothing but a measure of uh, sensitivity uh, to the <coughs> measure of sensitivity of uh, differential amplifier to the common mode input to the common mode input that is gain in the differential mode to the common mode and uh, coming to the sleeve rate of uh, this uh, op amp is infinite sleeve rate of this op amp is infinite sleeve rate is nothing but dv naught by dt dv naught by dt once again the characteristics of ideal amplifier first one is infinite gain input resistance or impedance is infinite output resistance or in, uh, impedance is uh, zero and it is ideal voltage amplifier so it is called voltage dependent voltage source and bandwidth of this uh, ideal op amp is infinite and it has zero offset and uh, common mode rejection ratio cmrr cmrr equal to infinite and sleeve rate is also infinite okay these characteristics of uh, ideal op amp are very very important for any competitive exams okay coming to the transfer characteristics of op amp this is the transfer characteristics of op amp <coughs> transfer characteristics of op amp here this is the linear region and this is the saturation region an op amp with the negative feedback will operates in linear region an op amp with the negative feedback will operates in linear region in case of op uh, uh, in case of op amp in open loop operation open loop operation and also with positive feedback then it operates in saturation region okay an op amp with negative feedback will operate in linear region and op amp with open loop operation and also positive feedback it operates in saturation region it operates in saturation region okay And coming to next one, inverting amplifier. Inverting amplifier. This is the inverting amplifier uh, circuit. Here, this is the inverting inverting input terminal. It is the non-inverting input terminal. Here, in case of inverting amplifier, the non-inverting side is uh, is connected to ground. This is the ground. 
this is the ground here invert in case of inverting amplifier the non inverting side is connected to the ground connected to the, connected to the ground here it is r is the input resistance and the output is fed back to the input fed back to the input through rf that is rf is nothing but feedback resistor feedback resistor in case of inverting amplifier non inverting side is connected to ground very very important bit in case of inverting amplifier non inverting side is connected to the ground and this circuit is the feedback is voltage shunt feedback this circuit this circuit has voltage shunt feedback here the output voltage v not equal to minus rf by r into vi minus minus rf by r into vi minus is uh, for indicates 180 degrees phase shift minus indicates 180 degrees phase shift here uh, here a equal to v naught by vi v naught by vi that equal to minus rf by r minus rf by r so we can replace minus rf by r as a so v naught equal to if we replace minus rf by r with a then it is v naught equal to a into vi a into vi here the input resistance is nothing but vi by i that equal to r that equal to r so r i input resistance equal to r only input resistance is r only okay once again inverting amp what is that inverting amplifier in case of inverting amplifier the non inverting side is the non inverting side is connected to ground and the circuit the feedback used is the feedback is uh, voltage shunt feedback voltage shunt feedback and the output uh, v naught equal to minus rf by r into input voltage here minus rf by r is nothing but a a so if we replace minus rf by r with a v naught equal to a into vi a into vi here uh, input resistance r i equal to r only r only this is the inverting amplifier and here minus indicates 180 degrees phase shift phase shift okay coming to the next one non inverting amplifier non inverting amplifier for this non inverting amplifier non inverting side is connected to the the inverting side is connected to the ground here inverting side is connected to the ground okay non inverting amplifier means here inverting side is connected to the ground okay inverting side is connected to the ground and this circuit has voltage series this feedback is voltage series feedback here voltage shunt feedback here voltage series feedback and here v naught equal to 1 plus rf by r into vi 1 plus r, this is the vi input voltage here 1 plus rf by r into vi here 1 plus rf by r is nothing but a so if we replace uh, 1 plus rf by r is a with a that is v naught equal to a into vi a into vi okay and next one voltage follower or voltage buffer okay it is also very very important very very important here voltage follower means the output is followed by the input voltage the output is followed by the output is followed by the input voltage that is v naught equal to vi v naught equal to vi here a is nothing but 1 a is nothing but 1 <coughs> and uh, it is called unity gain non inverting amplifier it is unity it is called unity gain non inverting amplifier because the output is input means here uh, the output is input means a equal to 1 a equal to 1 means gain equal to unity so that's why it is called unity gain non inverting amplifier here the input resistance r i equal to vi by i that is vi by i i equal to 0 that means uh, input impedance equal to infinite and output impedance equal to 0 this is the ideal characteristics of op amp okay and uh, this circuit act as buffer the circuit is act as buffer so it is used in sample and hold circuits so this is used in sample and hold circuits okay and next important one 
differential or difference amplifier differential or difference amplifier here this is the r1 this is also r1 here it is r2 it is also r2 here the output v0 equal to r2 by r1 and v1 minus v2 here it is the v1 it is v2 here v0 equal to r2 by r1 into v1 minus v2 here the feedback is voltage shunt feedback in case of differential amplifier voltage shunt feedback is used okay in case of differential amplifier the output is difference of the input values difference of the input values that is v0 equal to r2 by r1 into v1 minus v2 here voltage shunt feedback is used okay and coming to the cmrr that is common mode rejection ratio common mode rejection ratio very very important common mode rejection ratio is measure of sensitivity of differential amplifier to the common mode input measure of sensitivity of differential amplifier to the common mode input that is cmrr equal to mod adm by acm it is differential mode it is common mode and in case of db cmrr in case of db equal to 20 log of adm by acm adm by acm very very important formula that is coming next to one very very important differentiator differentiator this is the differentiator circuit by using the op amp by using the op amp here whenever the capacitance value is uh, in the first one in the first that means uh, the network is nothing but differentiator network is nothing but differentiator and this uh, differentiator in case of this differentiator the output v naught equal to minus rf into c minus rf into c into dvi by dt into dvi by dt that means v naught is proportional to dv by dvi by dt v naught is proportional to dvi by dt that means differentiator so that's why it is called as differentiator here CR means any circuit, any in case of uh, uh, any circuits uh, that is uh, CR means differentiator that is uh, there are many differentiator circuits in all the differentiator circuits that is uh, uh, likewise only C here uh, the front side is C and here R that means differentiator in case of uh, integrator that is here R comes front and the C comes uh, another side that is it is a uh, for just for remembrance okay and here v naught equal to minus rf into c into dvi by dt that is v naught is proportional to dvi by dt that is differentiator and here gain a equal to v naught by gain is always output by input that is v naught by vi that is uh, minus zf by z that is uh, minus rf by input side input impedance that is uh, uh, reactance that is 1 by omega j omega c uh, in the capacitive reactance is x c x c equal to 1 by j omega c that is uh, a equal to minus j omega c r f a equal to minus j omega c r f r mod a equal to f by f a f by f a here f a is nothing but 1 by 2 pi f 2 pi c r f 2 pi c rf and this uh, differentiator may become unstable at very high frequencies at very high frequencies okay once again the differentiator it is a cr circuit and uh, here v naught output voltage v naught equal to minus rf into c into dvi by dt here v naught is proportional to dvi dvi by dt that is uh, it is proportional to differentiation of the input so it is called differentiator and the gain is a gain a equal to v naught by vi that is minus rf by 1 by j omega c z means uh, 1 by j omega c and your feedback only resistance value that is rf in case of input uh, reactance capacitive reactance is nothing but xc xc equal to 1 by j omega c so substitute this 1 by j omega c here you can get a equal to minus j omega c rf okay a differentiator may become unstable at very high frequencies at very high frequencies and a very important table is if the input of differentiator is triangular then output is square wave if the input is input of the differentiator is triangular 
the output wave is square wave if the input of the differentiator is square wave the output is spikes the output is spikes uh, if the input of differentiator is sine wave the output is inverted cosine the output is inverted cosine these are very very important the input is triangular output is square if the square is uh, input of the differentiator output is spikes if the input of the differentiator is sine output is inverted cosine coming to the integrated circuit that is rc circuit integrator is nothing but rc rc circuits here feedback terminal is capacitive capacitance in case of differentiator feedback uh, element is resistor resistor in case of integrator the feedback terminal is capacitor here v naught output term output voltage v naught equal to minus 1 by rcf 1 by rcf integral vi dt vi dt that means v naught is proportional to integral vi dt that is uh, it is integrator it is integrator the output is proportional to the integrator of the input so it is a integrator and here gain a equal to minus zf by z naught here uh, zf means uh, feedback c c means 1 by j omega cf that is reactance of uh, or impedance of uh, this zf is minus 1 by j omega cf that is uh, minus 1 by j omega cf into r here a equal to uh, if j comes uh, to the numerator then it is minus minus of minus means plus plus j so j by omega cf into r so mod a equal to here also mod a equal to fa by uh, uh, here mod a equal to fa by f fa by f here fa equal to 1 by 2 pi r cf 2 pi r cf in case the input of the integrator uh, the input of the integrator is square wave the output is triangular the output is triangular okay in case of uh, the input of the integrator is spike the output is square wave the output is square wave if the input of the integrator is sine wave the output is cosine wave the output is cosine wave okay okay friends and next one supply voltage rejection ratio svrr supply voltage rejection ratio svrr it is the ratio of input offset voltage input offset voltage to the supply voltage here, here delta v i naught is here v i naught is input offset voltage vs is supply voltage that is svrr is change in the input offset voltage to the change in the supply voltage change in uh, input offset voltage to the change in supply voltage so svrr in case of dbs that is 20 log of delta v i delta vs by delta v i naught delta vs by delta v i naught and coming to the application of this uh, op amp the op amp can be a it has uh, mainly two types of applications closed loop applications and open loop applications in case of open loop applications it is this op amp is used as voltage comparator voltage comparator in case of open loop applications uh, means uh, the op amp is used as a voltage comparator and in case of closed loop applications with the negative feedback it is used for mathematical operations it acts as an amplifier converters and it is used in sample and hold circuits in case of negative feedback it is used for uh, mathematical operations that is addition subtraction likewise okay in case of amplifier uh, uh, in case of negative feedback it is used as a amplifier and also converters and also sample and hold circuits this uh, op amp with the uh, closed loop operation that is positive feedback it is used as a schemic trigger schemic trigger schemic trigger it is nothing but a squaring circuit squaring circuit it converts in the sine wave into square wave it converts sine wave into square wave very very important schemic trigger it is also called as squaring circuit it converts sine wave into square wave it is also used as a waveform generator it is also used as a waveform generator okay friends thank you in the next video i will discuss remaining topics of electronic devices and circuits